Hi everyone, Dan Higgins here from Astroworld TV, and we are here today to give an introduction to Sequence Generator Pro. This is going to be one of many videos we are going to be doing about Sequence Generator Pro, but this one's going to be about what software downloads you're going to need in order to get yourself going. And don't forget to subscribe to Astroworld TV so you can get all the notifications when myself, Eric, or Jason post new videos or go live. So let's get right into Sequence Generator Pro and take a look. Well, let's take a look at what Sequence Generator Pro can do. SGP is a total image acquisition package. It will control your camera, your mount, your rotator, your focus wheel, and your flat panel. It will start PhD guiding and coordinate with your guide scope. It does plate solving. There's no worries regarding if the object is on your chip. It has an autofocus routine, a flat frame wizard, and one of the biggest selling points, in my opinion, is the framing and mosaic wizard, which will make your framing so much easier. This beginning tutorial is meant to get you up and running. My recommendation is to get all of your settings squared away and make sure you get everything connected on a nice cloudy or rainy night. Once you're all set up, it's a quick and easy setup and you'll be snapping pics away. This will be the first of many videos regarding SGP and if there's anything you want to see in future videos, feel free to comment below and let me know. Sequence Generator Pro is now $99 from Main Sequence Software at their website, mainsequencesoftware.com. And in addition to SGP, you're going to have to download some other software in order to be fully functional. The first thing is ASCOM. Make sure you download the latest platform of ASCOM and all the ASCOM drivers for your equipment, your mount, your focuser, your camera, your rotators, whatever you may have, have the correct ASCOM drivers for your equipment and you can download that at ASCOM-standards.org. You'll also need a guiding program. The most popular is PHD2 Guiding. But you can use others if you wish. AstroArt, MetaGuide, and SkyGuide are also supported if you wish to use them instead. And I'll list the websites in the comments below. You'll need a plate solving program. Sequence Generator Pro currently supports Elbrus, Pinpoint, and Plate Solve 2, which is what I use. And I'll also list those links below in the comments. If you need a plate solver that doesn't require internet access, then you can download ANSVR. ANSVR is an offline plate solver which requires a lot of files to, uh, to, to plate solve. So give yourself enough time and space in order to download all the indexes you may need. If you're going to use plate solve 2, then don't forget to also download the APM and the UCAC3 catalogs because you'll need them for plate solving as well. In my setup, I use PHD2 guiding for guiding. I use plate solve 2 for my online plate solver. And I have ANSVR for when I don't have an internet connection. You're probably better off to have both ANSVR and some sort of online plate solver because if you lose an internet connection and you're out in the field, then you need some sort of solution in order to plate solve. And there are settings in the tabs in SGP where we can set for an offline plate solver. But we'll get into that as we go through our next video, connecting your equipment. So thank you for watching our first video, step one, downloading the software you need for Sequence Generator Pro, I guess we're going to call it. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and remember, you know, so step one is done. Download all the software you need, then come on back and we'll start with connecting your equipment in video two. And remember, keep imaging, keep educating, and keep having fun. My name is Dan Higgins from Astroworld TV. We'll see you in video two.